Good morning, guys. I am doing a review on the new iPhone Pro 13 Pro Max. I am trading it in for Android that I got sick of. Because this Android, you have to keep backing it up and um, deleting your catch. And that became aggravating to me. So I wanted to change my phones. Um, and try the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now I do have the 13, uh, the 11 Pro Max, and I love it. So I wanted to try something new. So this is the old, and I'm also upgrading my Apple Watch um, because I want a, a bigger screen and the new updates. I guess, oh baby, I'm just vain and I just want new things. <laughs> but anyway, and look, guys, I did not find a nail shop yet. How terrible. I have not found a good nail shop yet, so I'm still in search. Okay, so these are the old. And let's unbox the new. All right. So apparently you got to tear a tab here. Let's tear. Uh, oh, why are you tearing the bottom? Okay, so, so far the package and I like it. I'm just wondering why you have to tear these tabs. Oh, you weren't supposed to tear it. Gee, because it helped you pull the, the phone out of the box. But I'm gonna go this route. Okay. Oh, guys, I dropped a new phone. Oh, wow. Now, looking at the packaging, you get your phone, of course. And you get the famous Apple sticker to go in the back, which I never use. Duh. And a USB charge charger. Uh, and apparently you don't get the AC outlet anymore with the new phones. Duh. Uh, thank goodness I have a lot of, of uh, old, uh, especially the most recent one. I have the 11 uh, Pro Max, and they have this ch same charging port, so that would be fine. Now, guys, let's put a sticker. Oh, wow. Wow. I wish I could sit this side to side to my um, 11 Pro, but that's what I'm using to do the video with. But uh, look at it, guys. It's nice. So the packaging was nice. You don't get an AC charger. I didn't like that part. But the packaging is nice. You know, it's very nice. And look at that new phone. Hi. And I love to take pictures, so if you notice, it has three cameras. So that's going to be good. Okay. I'm trying to catch up all the beauty. Capture, capture, excuse my French. All the beauty that is in my new state in Tennessee. So I am... Loving that camera. So now we're gonna unbox the, the new watch. Now I do have the old Series 3 Apple Watch. And I want to do an upgrade. So I hope the guy got the order right. And it's a black band. I believe in using all black because it's more official. I just like black, the all black. So let me open up this box. If we don't drop this watch, okay. So the package is kind of neat. You guys, notice this. You just open that, open that flip up. Open up the box. Wow, the presentation is lovely. Wow, makes me feel like I just spent a ton of money. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys are able to see. Let me move the phone over right away. The old versus the new. Okay. So now let's see what comes in this box. So apparently you get the scraps separate. I'm hoping that they're all black because I love all black. I like to, okay, I'm gonna figure this out guys. Oh, okay. So with my little handy dandy scissors, I'm gonna open this up. Really? Okay, this is a 
a lot of work to open up a... But they have a little piece of tape there like you... Okay, it's there. They have a little piece of tape there, guys, to, I guess, keep the product secure, which is a scrap. I don't understand why they, they uh, tape that. So I'm opening it up. And, wow, look at this. A lot of information which is lovely information okay and wow it is black yes now the scraps are a little smaller i think let's figure this out than the old one but is it just me i mean they really went to a lot of work to secure this product look at guys to secure it, wow. <laughs> Ready? Uh, okay, duh. Here you go, guys. I'm pulling it out. Oh, wow, this is totally different from the last one. I don't know when I know what I'm doing over here. Totally different. Oh, you know what? That's this is the extra scrap. This is the extra scrap. Um, so I'm gonna leave that in. That is the extra scrap for your watch, which is nice. So you get two different sizes. If you have a big um, I mean a big wrist or a small wrist. So that's pretty cool. I like the packaging. They went through a lot to impress you. So it makes you know that you spent a lot of money. Okay. Here we go with this again. Okay, and I noticed on my last Apple Watch, they didn't have this particular feature on the box. So it's pretty nice that they have it here so you can just pull the, uh, the um, product out of the box. But look at this, guys. Look, I'm holding on to it, right? Let's see what happens. And that doesn't, that's not good. Okay, they get a D on that. That's not good. Because if you pull it, it's going to come off. Okay, so far, guys, I'm fighting for my package for my watch. If I can ever get into the thing. Apple was serious, wasn't they? Oh, wow. Let me not drop this like I dropped the phone. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, look. It's a nice watch. And I believe it has a case already. Oh, no, it doesn't have a case. That is, they go through a lot to protect their product. Let's see what else in this box. So in here we have the charging cord, which is good. But I have one for my other old Apple Watch. I'm gonna use that one. This will be an extra one. So that's pretty cool. I wish the watch could be like the, and I haven't checked all the features, maybe it does, but I wish it could be like my um, old phone because I'm able to sit it down on a dock and charge it um, without having to plug it in. Or I can choose to uh, take the phone and stick it to the back of my old iPhone and charge it that way. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature. So we're going to see all the features on this new iPhone. And I wish the watch was in like that. So let's just pull this little piece off. It's not a case, but I'll order one. They went through a lot to seal this product. So let's see. Oh, wow. I'm not going to be able to read it. I don't know. We change, unfortunately. <laughs> the vision change. So, it is about the same size. Oh, no. It's a little bigger. It's a little bigger. Not much, but a little bigger screen. And those are the two I, the Apple iWatch. Apple, yeah. Apple iWatch. Am I saying it correctly, guys? 
Yeah. And this is the seven series. And this is the three, third, um, three series. Okay. So we have unboxed that. And just so you saw, guys, there was this case around it to secure the watch. Then they have it wrapped in this big box um, that sits in this place here. So it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, the packaging was great. I mean, there's a lot that came in it. So it, no, it makes you feel like you just spent a ton of money. Okay? Also, I did order the um, Autobox Defender Pro. The reason why I ordered these Defender Pros are because there are, because there are some good cases. Uh, from my old phone, the, the uh, Note 9, I had this case here. And I never take the phone out the box unless I know I'm going to put it in a case. And let me tell you, this phone, this case took a beating. I've had it over, over about five or six years. And finally, I had broke the the rim around the case because I dropped the phone so hard from the second floor. So that's why that broke. But if you're looking for a good case, I do, do, do recommend the out of box defender pro. And let's unbox this guys and see what's in there. One of the things I do look for when I'm purchasing my phones or watches, so no matter what I'm purchasing, as far as my utility goes, I look for a bigger screen because, again, change happened to me, and I, uh, my vision changed um, somewhere around or on when I began uh, the chemo and all those things. So my body changed a little bit, so I, I do wear glasses. Um, okay, we're going to fight this hip. Oh, there it goes. Got it, guys. Okay, so I'm going to slide it out. Oh, wow. Now, I got to say, the packaging is great. So, the Outer Box Defender Pro was securely packed in its packaging. I love the pre presentation. Um, and this is what it looked like, guys. Now, what I'm going to do... Um, oh, also, I have one more product to open. Hold on. Let me get this fully open, guys, for the phone. And I like this phone, this case also because it has three layers. All of the secure, I mean, all of the protection that you want on that expensive phone. Let's see. Now, I did go with the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max with the 1TB. So you guys know. All right, we're gonna try to figure this. Oh, there it goes, this peels off. Peels off. There we go. Okay, so it's one layer of protection. There's two layers of protection. So there's two layers of protection. And we have a third. Now I have to open this up from the side from previous cases I know how to maneuver my way around these outer boxes. I just need to pop that. Maybe I shouldn't be using these scissors, but I'm gonna pop it with the scissors. Okay. Let's give it a little nudge. And it opens up, okay. So, because I spent a, um, not even spent, but I invested in this phone. I immediately, as soon as I get the phone, I, be, oh, it's one more thing, guys. I forgot about that. Bear with me. I also purchased the Zag uh, Invisible Shield. And the reason why I purchased this, because during the first year of the phone, it says new iPhone 6.7. So yes, for my 6.7 screen. Uh, so I purchased this this particular case, Zag, is because during the first year, if you drop your phone and you break it, they replace the shield at no cost. There is a shipping fee. Then after that, they don't replace the phone. They just replace the screen. So this is the reason why I go with Zag. 
and it's supposed to be a very good um, shield. Uh, though I had it on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I had an accident. I was, I think I was traveling at that point, and I dropped the phone or banged it or something of that nature, and the the screen looked it cracked, and I was, I said, oh my gosh, I cracked my phone. So guys, I was totally upset, thinking I had done damaged my new my phone because of a, just a simple accident. So I went up into Verizon and the guy had me laughing. I really, I, angels, just angels. He had me laugh. He said, ma'am, you didn't crack your phone. <laughs> he said, you cracked your uh, screen that you put on. And I gotta tell you, it's a good product. So I will forever and a day use that. A little pricey, it's like 40, 39.99 plus tax. But, Think about it. I buy it one time and one time only. Hold on. This is the... This is the um, casing they give you to put over the phone so that you can put your screen on correctly. That's the casing. Uh, it's not to keep the phone uh, on your phone. It definitely is just to put the casing on. Okay. And so you can have a more aligned case, a uh, more aligned protection on your screen to make sure you have it in a proper place. So unpackaging this, this is what it looks like. Okay, so moving on. Hey, my guys, I got something else in here. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to clean the screen first if it's already not clean it's, we can clearly see it just came out of the box i hope you guys are getting a good view hope you're getting a good view okay got that semi ready dust remover sticker if you don't get dust from this applying okay guys so let me lift the phone i'm gonna look myself i really don't see any dust so i don't think we're gonna go through the part of wiping it clean i'm looking at it real good i do see something there just a little speckle so let's use this sticker for a moment Just hold it like that. And take off some of the dust that I see. Just a little pieces of dust. Okay. All right. Done with that. All right. So then you pop this onto your phone. And now I am going to attempt to lay this shield on here. I recovered the, the um, dust collector. So I'm gonna attempt to, to put this on correctly. Okay, so I want you guys to see, because a lot of times you get products and they say, oh, it's so easy. <laughs> oh, it's this and that. And you're there fighting with the product, okay? You're literally fighting with the product. And I want you guys to see how hard or simple this is. Because believe you and me, if I have a tough time, I'm going to let them know. I do give reviews to companies. Now, that looks like a different format as far as the top of the shield goes. And I remember my old iPhone, that little dig in right there was for the uh, 11 Pro. So let me look at the box, guys. Because um, one of the sales rep ordered this for me. It says uh, for the new iPhone 
6.7. So, okay, let's see. Let's see, guys. Okay. Wow. No, no, no. Okay, let's see. Let's pop this off. That shield didn't help me to put that on there. It, mainly, it was in my way. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to give him a review on that, too. Because that didn't help me. So, that's one strike against that. So, I'm just basically going slow. I see something there. Okay. Forgive me, guys. I'm sorry. It's taking a little longer. Okay. This shield, oops, in place. Okay. And I want it up. Ah, da da. Perfect. 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 It's on there. Okay. I don't like the. You know, you have to get the air pockets out, so. I'll play with that later once I have the case on. So I'm going to go back and take my cloth and just softly wipe this beautiful piece of equipment. I love the matte look. Yeah. I've always been with Apple because I like the Apple, the process of Apple, the processor and the way they update every year. And I just like the new features. But with the... Uh, Android, I was annoyed, guys. I was annoyed. And I said, so this year, I'm going to, uh, sorry, I'm putting on the wrong piece first. I'm going to change the phone. All about changing. <laughs> and get a new phone. I'm going to play with that later. I'm not going to do it now. But I just want you guys to get the gist of the case. So now we have one layer. Plus, we have a screen protector. It's a Zag screen protector that I do recommend. I'm going to tell you. Uh, then we have a third layer. I'm just going to put that around. You know one difference that I noticed between the Android and the Apple? And I love the Android for this fact. Um is that you can put a, uh, a memory card in and you don't have to do like you do with Apple um, and c continue to either pay like a monthly subscription, which, which I do, uh, with Apple for my storage. Because no matter how many Apple products you have, um, that one account has a limited amount. I think it was four, maybe it went to eight. I had to look at the... The update, I don't think there's an update since then. A piece of dust, guys, forgive me. Um, since then, but if you can see, I own the MacBook, I have the iPad, and I have the 11 Pro, I have the watch. And they only give you a small amount of uh, space for all the products. I don't care how many products you buy from Apple. You get the same amount of space. They don't update it, upgrade it. You just stuck with that. Uh, other than what the device space has on it itself. But the account space, I think it's between four and eight. I have to look at it, guys. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Okay, so now we see I have three layers. Three layers of protection on this phone. And now we're going to look at the watch. Let's see how easy this is. Oh, also I have the outer case. Which, guys, I don't use the outer case much. I mean, this is a fourth uh, uh, type of shield. Um, let me pop it off again and show you something. Okay. Hey, hey. Oh. Okay, there you go. Sorry. All right. So, you have a fourth layer, which I'd be pretty serious about covering my products and because I, you know, you pay a lot of money. 
Your money is precious. And when someone gets it, you want to protect that product. <laughs> so, yeah. So, now you have, like, four layers of protection on this phone. So, if I drop it, throw it, whatever, it's protected. That's just one of the reasons why I buy the out-of-box Defender Pro. I love the out-of-box. And I don't think I would go with any other case. And I have gone with other cases. Um, some I will care not to mention. Uh, but this one is the best that I like so far. All right. So the watch. Let's see how easy it is to assemble the watch. Now, if I look at my old watch, because I always go by the older one. It seems to be that this part goes at the top. Okay. I look different from my other watch. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. But it actually blows. It's in place. Okay. So. And this is the other scrap. Let's shake it against my wrist, guys. Me, I'm basic. I like to do it this way. So it fits. It fits. So I don't need to use the other uh, uh, other attachment. Let me go back and look at that one because that first one is kind of long. And my arm is but so big. Would that scrap be longer? It would be shorter. I think I'm going to go with the other scrap. So because it's a little shorter. And I don't need that much room. Although, guys, look at the edge here. I don't like the edge. You see, notice the edge? Scrap, I don't like that. Hmm. Really don't like that. I'll just try it again. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. We'll, we'll just do some adjustments later if I want to change the band. But, guys, that was just the gist of my upgrades today. I wanted you guys to see what came in the package and... What did you receive for all that money? <laughs> Forgive me, guys. I just like to make a joke because it seems like the price of phones these days are ridiculous. Are ridiculous. But we, as a uh, customer, we as customers, we want the latest and the greatest. So I buy into these products because I I truly love them. And again, this is the Galaxy Note Nine. Um, and it really got on my nerves. Uh, I mean, it works fine as far as functionality, but the phone, again, you would have to keep clearing the catch. And that would happen like at the end of each month or maybe at the beginning of the next month, but it was frequently. So it really got on my nerves. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my product review today. And, and what came in the package and the unveiling of the boxes, um, what I did get with my package uh, inside the packaging. And I also purchased a miniature charger for the uh, iPhone itself. Um, but I may not use this because I just remember that I do have the older uh, chargers. Like when you uh, purchase your new products, you have the old products. So... You know, you don't really need to continue to um, buy new accessories. So this may go back. Truly, I forgot about that. It may go back. This may go back. As far as this helping me to put the screen on the phone uh, for the Zag, didn't really help. I did it without it. But it's nice to know that they do include this in the packaging. So that's great. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it my review and the uh, opening up and unveiling of my new Apple iPhone um, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So thank you for your peace. I mean, thank you for your viewing. Forgive me, not peace, but thank you for viewing. I hope that you like, share, and sub um, like, share, and follow. I'm asking that you guys like, share, and follow. I have a goal this year of reaching 999 followers. So with a little help from you guys, this, this may happen. So like, share, and follow, and have a good day.